Oh, so innocent. She has such a sweet walk. It has like this kind of lollop to it. Do-do, 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 do-do. It doesn't quite match uh, Link's big floppy gait. Mm-hmm. She looks like she's having to kick her skirts because they're too long. Or she's like bounding, right? Yeah. With these big strides and Link is just sort of plodding along. See, this is the room. Yeah. These are the goods. This is how you live. This is how you continue. You get these things and then then you have a chance. Where, where does Zelda go? Behind you. No, whenever you're fighting. Behind you. <laughs> Today, Precarious plays The Legend of Zelda Minish Cap. <sighs> so here's the problem. Yeah. This. This is the problem. So I had to use all of the things to do all of the things last time. And now you might notice many familiar objects and possibilities. We've got Orbeez, we've got a thingy, and we have a... We, what is that called? I don't have the nouns for any of this anymore. And I fell off the platform like a rube. Um, <laughs> it's just, uh, just everything. And there's a tower, so you got to get small. You got to get in the tower. You got to fight the things in the tower, but only specific things. <sighs> I this is so stressful. Like this conceptually, because I played a a big ticket release recently. And only the one with the brightest eye, so you have to also keep track of the right one that actually takes damage. Mm -hmm. But I played a big ticket release recently. Yeah. That, in my mind, makes just an unforgivable design faux pas where uh, it has a... <laughs> Didn't know that the hearts were not for littles. <laughs> it has a... A pretty essential alternate mode that your character can exist in, right? Yeah. And after a certain point in the game, like in the, the final string of bosses, this alternate mode is just forgotten about. Mm. So I love that you need to use your Minish form in this yeah, final battle. Yeah, it'd be great if this was the final battle. This part. Not the stupid... Uh, the, the... Is the there more after wielding? this? I don't remember. Look, I have blocked this out. This is not happy for me. Okay? I did it so that I could prove to myself that I could do it, that I had the patience to do it, that I had the concentration to do it, and you have to turn a flashlight on. <laughs> okay? Look. It's just... I've got two hands and I've got to use one of them on a torch. It's so frustrating. And it, with this stupid little torch light, you have to be able to find the one that has like one hue slightly different from the other ones. It's just infuriating. Okay, but like first we have the stupid like mace wielding chain yas, which is kind of annoying. And then you got like to fight those three or four dark nuts. I can't even remember how many there uh, there's are. The, there's a hallway filled with banditos. Before there's that. a hallway filled with banditos, which is not as problematic, but it's still significant. And, and then, all of that's on a timer too, it isn't is, it? Yeah, it's, it's on a timer. So if you don't get through there quickly enough, you don't get to beat things. And then, did you see that? Yeah, this part. This is the this is the most frustrating part of the whole thing. You got the spiky balls flying at you and you're supposed to play the like devil's volley with these eyeballs and you have to line up perfectly. Like and the hitbox is under a, a time crunch. It is under a time crunch. This whole thing is under a time crunch. See how perfectly you have to line that up? Like yeah. the hitboxes on that are just too Narrow. I don't understand. And you I, I remember it now. You have to do it so many times. I don't remember. Uh, I am recalling now, but it's weirdly inconsistent where, like, the one on the left, the three 
Three of them will hit pretty consistently, but then the one on the left just likes to go wide mm -hmm. for some reason. Um, but there's no way to get that to work right at the same time, and mm -hmm. it's just, oh, I'm just reliving the worst. This is the worst. You know, I thought I was gonna feel... Well, you know what? I didn't know. I knew that I had forgotten it for a reason. Um, and it has been a while since we recorded this, too. So, like, when I sat down to play this, Mm -hmm. It was months ago. And then I was like, all right, we'll record the last bit of this. And then we got distracted playing other funner things. Mm -hmm. um, more funnest. More funnerest, yeah. Oh, every time. You know what? I, I think that I need to be quiet because, it, like, if you... If I'm in charge of talking over this, you're just going to hear me complain. Existential just, bellowing. Just, just ah, like, why? Why would you do this? This is not fun! This is not fun! This doesn't make me feel special or smart. This makes me feel lucky. And, like, look how I I'm, don't know. You, uh, you're no, definitely... No! That, I think, is pretty unacceptable. That three of them go... Or they they successfully return to sender, but then oh that that's a, that's just that's a crying shame. But just... three of them, I don't understand why three of them pretty consistently go where they're supposed to, but then just that one on the left, just depending on like your distance from the target, will uh, not. And it's about to run out again, man. <laughs> Sometimes, like, I wonder if there was an uh, an upgrade or something that we missed that, like, increases the amount of time you have on your your uh, your duplicates. If you ever find that out, don't tell me. Don't. Do not tell me because. I mean, like just I've, I've got to say, I've got to say that there are definitely there's a an error that you keep making that's easy to point out, in high, like with the benefit of not being the person playing it right mm -hmm. now. Uh, you keep going too far north during that attack, and I think that you observed that and have like started to back off. I need you to tell stories because I'm trying to breathe. Yeah, I want to talk about Elden Ring. Whoops, gave the name away. Uh, I was pretty disappointed with, well, several different aspects of Elden Ring, but in particular, I just think that it's, it's just not okay that, uh, unless I'm seriously mistaken about something, um, there were, there's like a boss rush of like seven bosses at the end. None of them incorporate Torrent, your horse, deer, stag, hmm. ghost, spirit mount. And that's just like, I, I'm reminded of, um, Twilight Princess. Mm. Twilight Princess, there is a Phantom Ganon-esque fight, and then you have to fight Ganon in uh, a giant pig form, in your wolf form, and then there's a mounted battle, like a mounted sort of cavalry field battle against him, mm -hmm. and then I think there's an additional final sword fight with Ganon. So it's this big four phase battle that sort of challenges you in all of these different modes that you have collected. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I mean, the last string of bosses in Elden Ring, they are frustratingly samey um
just just to begin with. So the fact that like there's a <sighs> they had an out, you know that that's like having a mount in a game that supports mounted combat and then not including a like basically a mounted combat final. Mm-hmm. That's just like. That feels so obvious to me. It's like the free space on a bingo card yeah. for constructing your game's finale. It's like, oh, and then there's the part where you fight a tough enemy on your cool horse. But no, don't have that. Mm. And it's one of those things where it's like, but if you actually can, don't tell me because <laughs> it would probably would have made one of them easier and I don't want to... You don't want to know. I don't want to know about it now. Much like I don't want to know about any edge I could have had in e any of these fights. Oh yeah, you can actually just shoot with light arrows and it dies in one hit. It, uh, no, I can't. <laughs> I tried. Oh, you okay. <laughs> Straight shooting. It's weird that uh, arrows don't work, actually. Isn't it? Because of... Uh... Okay, hold on. Let's think about how to... How to ease this, right? Just a little more time on the clones would be nice. But that's sort of like a fundament, uh, uh, a player side change. Let's think about ways enemy side, boss design side, to make this better. Here's a, here's a pitch, right? The eyes, whenever they're destroyed, they don't respawn. Why did that work? Who knows? They don't respawn until after it does its, uh, that move. Yeah. Again. Like that. So you have, you have two shots, you have two chances to clear the board. Yeah. So like right now, for example, instead you, of having- I would just have one. Right. Unless it fired and you missed it again, then they would all come back. Yeah. I mean, that would work. Having less of those. Um, or... Just having the hitboxes be wider for the volley. If, That's all. If they, uh... I think if those were thrown, if the little shocking spheres there were thrown into the air, and then whenever they hit the ground, if they all just dropped towards the bottom of the screen. Yeah. So instead of this odd arc that can sort of catch you out if you just happen to be too close to it. Yeah. It is more just about dodging horizontally. Ugh, it's just so hard to watch this because I can, I can tell I'm getting frustrated. And I can tell that it's getting harder at roughly the same rate that I'm getting frustrated, mm -hmm. which makes it just feel completely impossible. Do you want to skip to the end? I don't think so, because I think I'm pretty close. Because I just re I remember that it was, like... I remember that it was just... Oh, heartbreak after heartbreak. I don't know. I thought that that next one was going to be the one, because I remember feeling absolutely hopeless, and then it being, like, the last one. Mm-hmm. Like, I, I think that I paused while I was recording this and, like, yelled through the house a little bit. Ugh! <sighs> I don't know. Maybe we should move forward because I don't think I'm having very much fun watching this. Do it! Oh. Oh, yeah! I, I remember that. I, uh... Yeah, that did happen. Yeah, that happened. I... <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, swear words. Can I buy a vowel, please? Can I buy an F? <laughs> Can I buy a... <laughs> no, not for sale. Not for sale in this playthrough. No four letter words available. All right. Can I say cool? Is cool okay? Is it? Cool can be. Cool can be the new stand-in for the word. What's going on? Oh, you did it. Oh, you were down to like three quarters of a heart. They had a fairy. 
but, but I mean, that's it. When we're done, we're ready. We're ready to go. We're ready to resume playing live. I am ready to go. <laughs> Throw a Wii U. Uh, yeah, I didn't off even. Off of a bridge. I cannot believe I. I cannot believe I did that. I don't even feel triumphant about it. I just feel mad. <laughs> I'm just mad. I would like for you to envision this, though. Now that you have completed this, I dare say that if you so desired, you would now be prepared to play any top-down Zelda game. I would say that you would be prepared to play Hyper Light Drifter. I would say that you would be prepared to play any of the sort of like isometric style adventure games, you know? Like a you're, the first example that comes to mind would be like a Diablo. That's, I know that's not exactly the same kind of kind of experience, but you take my meaning, right? I, I do understand. I understand. However, the only thing I feel really prepared to do mm -hmm. after watching this back is going on one of those retreats where like <laughs> you have to go poop in a hole <laughs> because you're that far out in the wilderness. <laughs> 